hey, I got a hot tip to start using Prezi in my Zoom meetings and workshops. Let's check it out. Here I am in Prezi. I signed up for a 14-day free trial. Did have to do the whole credit card thing. And to do video conferencing, I have to click here. Okay. Site is trying to open PreziCast, so we'll say open. It made me download something called PreziCast. So now that I'm there, I can import a PowerPoint that I already have, and I am going to do that. I have one called Story Finding. I'll click open. And while it's uploading, and we can see that it's importing that presentation, I, in the meantime, can find a template that I want to use for this. So we have a lot of templates over here, which means that when this presentation finally uploads, can it go here? Will it go off to the side here? And one thing, as I was flipping through a lot of these templates, quite frankly, Prezi, I didn't like any of them. A lot of them were, well, this isn't so bad, but what I discovered is after I uploaded the presentation, instead of putting it up here or somewhere normal, it would put it down here. Like, who wants it there? A lot of other things like, okay, this is white. That's not bad, but why couldn't it be clear? This one is actually quite nice. It would put my presentation up here, but then it puts this big moving yellow blob underneath it. So I went through each of these templates, breaking news. Now that doesn't really work for me. This one's too slim to be very useful for me. So not a lot of these templates were actually very good looking. Uh, nothing very plain. I would prefer just to have a nice simple one up here. And guess what? That's not a template that Prezi has. The other thing that I found a bit frustrating is this has to be done in Chrome. So Chrome is your choice if you want to use Prezi and Zoom together. Okay, so it looks like import PowerPoint, it select all or select a few slides to import. Why don't I just click all to keep this going? And what we'll see after I click all is that it loads all of my slides off to the left. Yay, so there they all are. They'll start to fill in and we'll start to see each thumbnail. So if I flip over to one, yeah, this is a template that's really not gonna work out for me. Why would I want it down there? This one appears to me the most plain one without a whole lot of fancy graphics, but it puts it right next to me. Why couldn't it be up here? Is there one that goes up there? Yeah, but then it's got a lot of funny stuff to look at. Uh, is it this one? No. I mean, for God's sake, why do I need a statue off to the right? Can I just have something plain? No, apparently I can't. This is just crazy stuff. And this is really typical of Prezi. This isn't bad, but I've got a grid and it's still cutting into my shoulder. Uh, not the most uh, helpful templates in the world. There was one that wasn't so bad. Let me see if I can find it. Eh, you know, this isn't so bad. Was it this one? Let's just say this one, at least it's up in the right-hand corner. That's something that I can work with. And as I flip through one to the other, this will follow me along. So I would be presenting in Zoom and this is what people would see, all right? I could also quit talking from time to time and quit showing my head and have it go to full screen if I needed to, and then have it go back to where it was previously. So that is, uh, a bit of how it works. I'm gonna use this one. It's the plainest one, even though I don't like that it's here. I'd really have to switch, you know, how I'm going to sit to present. Maybe if I sat over here, it would be a better positioning. So now I want to take it to a video conference and I get my choice of Zoom, Microsoft Teams, Google Meet, Cisco WebEx, GoToMeeting, or other popular apps. But because I use a lot of Zoom meetings, I'll click Zoom. The status says that I am disconnected, so I need to connect it. How do I connect it? Well, I'll go to Zoom and I will host a meeting with my video on. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And within a few seconds, the Zoom dialog box should pop up as it usually does. And here I am. What I did was I selected the Prezi video virtual camera. So now I would be presenting in Zoom. I would also have to do this. I would have to have 
my zoom up and have Prezi up next to it because to flip from one slide to the other, I need to look at Prezi. I need to use the Prezi controls to do that. And yet I still need to keep an eye on what's happening in Zoom so that I can look at controls, look at people's faces. So now I have two screens open so that I can manage both of these situations. So that's how we do it. That is how Prezi is working in Zoom right now. I have the free version, which is why we see, you know, the Prezi video up there. I put this all together in something like 20 minutes, so it's not terribly hard to learn. The free version still made me pay $5 a month or put in the credit card for something like that. It's not a terribly expensive program. Um, Chrome might be a stopper for some people. And while a lot of this flipping is nice, the templates kind of stink. <laughs> And uh, a little bit too much activity going from one screen to the next. For example, if I'm going to another screen, I've got that magical thing that Prezi does that can make people nauseous. Is this a tool that you are likely to use in a Zoom or other web conference? Is the wow factor worth it? Is the wow factor going to take away from your content and from your connection with the audience? What do you think of using a tool like this? I'm not sold. I'll keep playing with it over the weekend though.